Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand, Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kristen, we're going to talk about one of your favorite subjects today and that is cut flowers. And I yes. don't know whether you've just brought my awareness about it or uh -huh. if there's truly an increase, but it seems like there are more cut flower growers in South Central Kentucky and across the state. Yes, yes. There has been a big growth, especially in the cut flower growers that we have here in the state. I know I, I came on the show last year and we started kind of talking about the promotion within the state and we're still continuing that but we have seen a growth from 60 growers last year to 90. So mm -hmm. there, there has been some growth and it's really exciting to see the cut flower industry take off because a lot of our cut flowers that we buy at the grocery store and things like that, like a bunch of that has been coming in from other countries like Colombia, Holland. Um, it kind of just depends on the cut and the season that it's within. So it's really nice to see that the local cut flower industry is taking off and there has been a lot of interest in that. So first off, Joanne, I want to talk about uh, the promotion that we have going on um, and how you can kind of follow along with uh, some different cut flower growers across the state. So the horticulture agents, too, myself and another agent in Boyle County, we have been working with the Kentucky Hort Council. And so we're trying to just celebrate cut flower growers throughout the state here um, because there is a lot here within our area and then also northern, eastern, and also further west from Bowling Green. So what they're going to be doing is on the Kentucky Hort Council's uh, social media accounts, so Facebook, you can follow along at KY Hort Council, and then also on the Instagram account at KY Horticulture, you can see all the different growers and really their niche or their market that they have established. So it's really interesting interesting to kind of see some of the more seasoned growers, some of the mid-range uh, type growers, and then even some of the ones that are just getting started. And they can offer anything from uh, being a farmer florist where they actually grow their flowers and actually arrange different bouquets, kind of like a subscription service, or you can go out to their farm and they have different uh, ongoing events throughout the year that kind of coincide with some of their blooms. And then you can kind of celebrate even more and make it a family event. So it's almost like a you pick operation. Um, and then also there's different ways that they get involved with wedding events and other types of um, events throughout the year. So it's really exciting to kind of see some of those growers and maybe even possibly you'll be able to go visit some of them, especially if you're really getting interested in growing cut flowers in the state. Absolutely, and I think a promotion is great because I think it brings about awareness and you might have a flower grower right in your backyard that yes. you can go see. But somebody might be watching this today and say, you know, I would like to do that. Yes. And, and you guys are offering some educational programs for people who might be interested in getting involved with cut flowers. We are. So I'm really glad you mentioned that because we have an upcoming virtual field day that's coming up uh, for July. It's going to be offered on July the 19th. And so this one is going to be held virtually via Zoom because it seems like that's just the best way for us to connect with so many people, especially across the state, rather than having a central location. So if you are interested in learning more about growing cut flowers here in the state, we're going to have a virtual uh, farm tour that's going to be highlighting a cool lot. Um, so it's really good about once you have the different stems, you can actually harvest those and preserve their life in a cool lot type uh, environment. And then there'll also be some post-harvesting type tips and also management things that you can do as well after your stems are already harvested. So again, that particular event is going to be held via Zoom on July the 19th, which is on a Monday. It's going to be held in the evening. So if you're on Central Time Zone, that's 5.30 for us, 6.30 uh, p.m. for those in the eastern part of the state. Uh, it's really simple to join. All you need to do is register. And if you want to contact our office, uh, we can get you that. Um, and it'll also be posted on the Kentucky Hort Council's Facebook page as well. Okay, and this is kind of a part of a, a series. You guys did one earlier. Yes. It, are those available if people missed out? or? Yes, so that's available on the Center for Crop Diversification's website. So you can, if you just want to type in your favorite search engine, that's the way you can find it. But it has been recorded, the one that we held back in March, and that was on different perennial cut flowers to select from. But again, if you if you want to attend this meeting, you know, join us. And then if you have to miss for different reasons, then the recording will be posted on that website as well. All right, Kristen. Well, I appreciate the information. And if you have any questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching the Farm and Home Show, and we hope you have a great day.